Okay, so this is a technique I use all the time for scaling objects in Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is select the text layer and the rectangle. Now, because this is a combination, if I press Command or Control T, I can then hold Shift and Alt or Option and scale this up. But as you can see, the properties of that stroke are staying exactly the same, as well as the corner radius. And this is a problem. So if I select the rectangle and open up the properties panel, you can see it's still 50 pixels, even though I've resized it. And if I double click on the stroke, I've added this in the blending options and it's 15 pixels. And those properties have been maintained. And the way that I get around this is instead to select both layers. Again, press Command or Control T. And then we're going to go to the top. We're going to click the link icon, which will lock the width and the height. And I'm going to increase this by, say, let's go for 200%. Press return. And of course, we still have the same problem. However, what I can do now is go over to just the rectangle layer. And from the properties panel, if 50 pixels is 100%, 200% is going to be 100 pixels. So we have to do a bit of math, which I know is unfortunate. But within that is the same radius. If it was 300% that I increased it by, this would be 150. Slight bit of math required. But unfortunately, the stroke weight hasn't scaled up as well. Because we have a stroke added from the blending options, we have the effects icon. What we can actually do is right click this and all the way down the bottom hidden here, we have scale effects. Now remember that percentage you punched in at the start, mine was 200. Just add in that percentage there, press return, and there you go. It's now scaled that stroke weight from 15 to 30.